princess and took a central role in honouring the late queen in Scotland and sources say that her brother will continue to be a part of King Charles' streamlined monarchy. Princess Royal is only 16th in line for the throne but her place as the late queen's second eldest child has, after the death of her mother, given the Princess Royal an elevated role in the British monarchy. As her elder brother grapples with his new role as King Charles III, Princess Anne has already taken on a central place in the period of mourning with the emotional task of accompanying her mother's coffin on the various stages of its final journey. The new monarch will need all the support he can get from his sister who has built up a reputation as the most hardworking royal. As King Charles settles into his role as monarch, he will need to rely on two women in particular to give him both emotional and professional support. The Queen and the Princess Royal. While the princess's immense workload has often been overlooked in the past, her vast experience, as well as her close personal bond with her brother, will make her one of the most important figures of his reign. According to a royal source, the siblings have similar working habits. Sir is up till past midnight doing his paperwork and letter writing and his sister is the same. They are very similar in many ways, the source says. There is only two years between the siblings who have always been close and and is likely to be a key confidant to the new king with their relationship often compared to that of the late queen and her sister Princess Margaret. King Charles and Princess Anne were the only siblings by their mother's side when she took her last breath on Thursday, which royal insiders say has only strengthened their special bond. It was the Queen's dying wish that her only daughter, whose title the Princess Royal was the highest accolade her mother could bestow, should take on such an important role in her homecoming, one to which Charles was only too happy to give his blessing. The Princess, who is less than two years younger than the King, grew up with him, unlike their siblings Andrew and Edward, who are more than a decade younger. Their relationship is one of mutual respect as well as much laughter, and they have always loved spending time together. Now aged 72, Princess Anne is the patron of more than 300 organizations and has built up a reputation as the hardest working member of the royal family. She has carried out more than 20,000 engagements to date, and in 2021 the princess carried out 387 official engagements, two more than her elder brother. Both of them completed far more duties than the next busiest member of the family, the Duke of Cornwall and Cambridge, with 235 official engagements. After the death of Queen Elizabeth means that hundreds of patronages have now returned to the new sovereign, all of which must be either absorbed by him, reallocated to other members of the royal family or allowed to lapse. While the king has expressed a desire to streamline the monarchy, his ability to do so will be dictated by the number of official engagements he wants the royal family to carry out each year, and without princess and there would be a sizable hole in the royal diary. In theory, at least, the king could decide to downgrade the princess royal status in order to focus on the direct line of succession but Buckingham Palace confirmed on Friday that the title Princess Royal was conferred upon her for life. King Charles is moving to make his sister, Princess Anne, and his brother, Prince Edward, eligible to be stand-ins for the king. Right now, for senior royals and Camilla, the Queen Consort, can fill in for the monarch, but the king is hoping to amend the list since two people on it are no longer working as senior royals. Under the Regency Act, the sovereign spouse and the first four adult royals in line to the throne are councillors of the state, meaning they can assume most of the sovereign's duties, if needed, according to the royal family.